。今天我们发布会的主题是破晓。假如我们不反其道行之，我们还蒙蔽在千瓦的故事里出不来，哪还有我们在座者的机会？此时此刻。在这激光产业历史十十字路口，我们又一次选择去反趋势，去打破我们自己创立的两个战略。所以，你是要做一个被历史车轮碾压的石子，还是做一个推动历史滚滚向前的勇士？这把最强的工具刀一定会帮助我们的客户在同质化竞争面前脱颖而出。Hi, this is Jelly again. Hi, this is James again. Welcome to the Marketplace Channel. Today's topic is which one is number one data source brand in China, the Rikers or Max? Which one is better? Very interesting question. I think a lot of people asking you.、Mm -hmm. Not easy to answer. It's not a yes or no question. You know,、mm -hmm. it's a very big question. I think after conversation in the following, you will find the answer. And I believe everyone will find your own answer. Today, we, I, I'm before answering this, I want to share you more information.、Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not simply to say Breakers is the biggest one or Max is uh, more uh, hopeful. You know, how to say that. But、uh, right, Max has released a press conference last month. We call it the、uh, day breaking. Have you watched that? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. So meaning of the day breaking. Yes, it's a very meaningful name. Why they call it day breaking? Yeah.、Um, I I think before we talk about the conference contents,、mm -hmm. we I want to emphasize this meaning meaning of the name day breaking.、Mm -hmm. You know, in the past two years. Max has gone through very hard days、ah, yeah. as a laser manufacturer because they apply for IPO and the project failed.、Yeah. So they are suffering, you know, to produce、uh, CW lasers、yeah. for cutting and welding business. It's a very money-consuming.、Ah, you, know, yeah. you got a lot of receivables and、uh, high delivery, and、uh, I mean,、mm, they have they have a lot of employees. So、ah, yes. it's a、uh, It's a huge project, and、yeah. uh, they are stuck. And the price competition from Raycos is very tough. Yes, because Raycos is public, and they have a lot of money, and they they are leading the price competition. Yeah. So Max, I think, is the in the last two years, it's like a people walking in the dark, you know, in the night. In the dark. It's all all dark.、Mm -hmm. So I think it's a the the name they call the day breaking.、Mm -hmm. I think they are going through to the point that they say the morning is coming,、mm -hmm. the sunrise is coming. Yeah. So, so I think so. After this explanation to the name, I think you must be very excited to to know what they are talking about. Yes.、Um, for me, I just want to know what they introduce in this press conference. Of course, I suggest you to watch that by yourself. Yeah. But it's a Chinese. Conference press conference, so I think it's a bit hard for people who follow our channel to know this.、Yeah. So that's why today I I want to share with you what's the main contents of this press conference.、Uh, it's a lot of of technical data sheets, and they have been really really deep and、uh, very technical in、uh, in the past two years' work they've done. So.、Um, There are mainly three points. First, of course, it's a press conference. It's the release of their new product,、yeah. which is a very popular and well-known single module 12 kilowatt laser.、Oh, single module. Yes.、Oh. So it's a breakthrough.、Mm -hmm. I mean, it's、uh, not only leading in China but also leading in the world. Among you know the competitors from China or even IBG, I think、uh, single module 12 kilowatt is a、uh, really Uh, breakthrough product. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yes, it's, really it's a very powerful. Yeah. We will go in details later. So the second point is that they kind of explained what kind of technical work we've done、yeah. to make this product. Yeah, I'm more involved. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes, it's a、uh, it's very interesting.、Mm -hmm. uh, but they they make it very short in the Chinese. But.、Uh, It's mainly composite of three points,、uh, easy to remember or to explain. First is high brightness. 
Mm. So, you know, laser products, not only panels of CW, the laser has their characteristics. Mm -hmm. So brightness is one of the main um, characters. Yeah. So they use high brightness. Okay. You go to the high brightness means the density is very high. Yeah. But the beam can go really small mm -hmm. with super high power. Yeah. A 12 kilowatt, they can be delivered in 30 microns oh. to, to be output. So the brightness is very high. Then comes the second point. The diameter is very small. Mm. The core diameter of the fiber of the uh, erbium fiber and also delivery fiber mm -hmm. and uh, pumping fiber mm -hmm. so it's uh, all very small mm -hmm. then you get very small diameter yeah. um, uh, fiber and third is the three layer cladding mm -hmm. uh, the delivery fiber you know is very small mm -hmm. and uh, when it's very small the pumping energy going to this delivery fiber you got extra optics you know outside the beam pass yeah. so normally the traditional fiber is double layers can absorb like 90 percent of the extra lights mm -hmm. but with these three layers you can get rid of the all this um, raman defection yeah. so it's a uh, it's a bit very technical uh, i hope I, I i i tell you the right way but yeah this is the, you know what they've done from these three aspects to go this single module uh, this breakthrough product coming. So this is uh, the first uh, they share with us this tactical, really tactical point. And second is that Max Laser has doing fiber laser very early. You know they are like right because they are the main players. Yeah. Like ten years they've been in this world. So Max, when the, in the beginning in China there are no companies producing parts mm -hmm. like a fiber we bought from Newfound. Yeah. Or combiners we bought from American JDSU or you know other pumping dials from Enlight. Mm -hmm. So we don't have Chinese brands in parts yeah. supplier for laser source. Mm -hmm. So they've been spending many years in support or cultivating or growing with the local players here to mm -hmm. to supply the parts. And you know, Rikos is also in the same direction. But in these five years, Rikers has gone to the direct industry because they are public, so they have money and mm -hmm. they, they are part of state owned. So they kind of purchase or they grow their own departments to make combiners, to make tiles, and uh, to make uh, cubish mm -hmm. and to make um, fiber. You mean, you mean Max? Yeah, Max. No, Rikers. Oh, Rikers, okay. Rikers, Rikers. Rick is huge. Okay. They have like um, thousands of, of okay. the employees. Yeah. They have a lot of buildings and they, 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 they develop or manufacturing oh. everything in house. And then, Max, you know, they have, I think, in the second uh, point, we declare is that they uh, partnership or strategic uh, corporate with their main suppliers. Like uh, the fiber from Wild Fiber from Wuhan, mm -hmm. which is the leading fiber producer in China, and the the combine uh, the pumping styles they bought from Xinhan, which also leading in China yeah. in supplying this. Yeah. And so this is you know, I mean it's different strategy. Mm -hmm. You produce everything in house, mm -hmm. or you cooperate with your strategic partners yeah. in running you know. But I think for high tech products like fabulous source, super high power fabulous source you really need to go really fast with a lot of high-end developers yeah i think max is a little bit uh, very confident yes. with this strategy they're going with yeah. and um you know it's hard to judge but i think this is the main two points that they they have uh they have they have uh, showed in this uh, conference yeah, now I've made my decision. I want Max. I think it's magic. <laughs> yeah. You are very easy to make decision because you have introduced so many core technologies and his strengths. So I think that maybe he's magic. Yeah. Oh, I think it. it no, you know, it, to make a choice on choosing which brand placers, mm -hmm. it's not easy to say that who is the the, the, the definitely number one. You know. If you are the marketing business, or the cleaning business, or cutting, oh. you know, even JPT has more power. It's the leading number one in China. But the, you know, Rikos is more, you know, in terms of sales volume. Max is kind of leading in high power cutting. 
So it's, you know, it's also depend on your customer or your own. You cannot say that I buy everything from Max or I buy everything from Ray because they're guaranteed that. Laser is a big topic and it has a lot of applications or micro machining. So it still depends on what job you want to do. Then to choose what kind of technology and from which company. Then you get the best service, best price and the best portfolio. So this is the, uh, I hope you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. So, and a lot of questions that even Max has gone, you know, this uh, new release 12 kilowatt laser source. Do you know the price? Uh, I have no idea. So you're asking, maybe a little expensive? Uh, yes, it sounds very, very nice, right? Because it's a single module, mm -hmm. very compact, yes, and uh, it's very small cold diameter, so uh, the density is very high. When yes. you're cutting same metal, is it's like uh, we had a test yes. with our cutting machine. Yes. Uh, when you cut, especially high reflection, aluminium or mm -hmm. copper mm -hmm. or shiny stainless yeah. steel, you got like sixty to ninety percent or faster. Faster. Speed. Oh. Compared with the traditional multi-module 12 kilowatt, it's a high efficiency. Yeah. You know, it's like you bought uh, 12 kilowatt, but it's like you're cutting with 15 kilowatt. Yeah. So it's um, but the price of the laser are, are slightly expensive mm -hmm. than the multi-module. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like uh, less than 10 percent, and the price because the, the the technology of this laser, you use less dials, so you mm. use less fiber. Actually, the cost is low, so it's a very brilliant technology. Yeah. You get better performance, but lower cost. No cost. It's a uh, unbelievable. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you are building a cutting machine, I really recommend this. Okay. And 12 kilowatt is very popular this year. Yeah. Yes. So with a, a big dimension table, six by two or you know four by two, with 12 kilowatt single module, you cut everything and you cut really fast. So uh, this this machine, I think, is uh, it's going to be dominant in uh, in this year and coming next year. And I think Max is using this technology to uh, go on higher power. And they're going to release their single module 20 kilowatts at the end of this year. And early, I think, last year they are going to release 30 kilowatts. Perfect. 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 Yeah. So have you been clear about what the conference is talking about? Yes, I got it, and uh, I think uh, if our customer want to uh, know the answer, we, we need to first check your application, then we decide which one is better. It's depends. Yeah. Yes, that's all about the uh, press conference from Max uh, Day Breaking, and I hope if you have, uh, I got the whole presentation in my computer. If you are interested in that, you can email to me that I will send it to you. And please subscribe to our channel. And uh, what other uh, technology you want to know or you want to hear about from China, you can leave your comments in this video and I will reply to you. And hope to see you next time. Yeah, give me a like. Um, see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.